Peggy 7. The range of characters in Disney Epic Mickey is pretty darn broad. Everything from the earliest black and white characters up until about the late 60s. I didn't want to get much more modern with anything than that. But the, the key is they're all legitimately forgotten or legitimately rejected or subtly different than the characters you might expect. Well, it is entirely a good thing that we had these characters who had some Disney past, but not a fully realized Disney life. Deciding what to include in the game was really kind of nightmare. I had a little bit of an advantage just because I really have studied cartoons for a long time, but I, I had a pretty good idea who I wanted in the game. Mickey Mouse has achieved the highest levels of success fame, fortune, love, in every medium he's tackled, except video games. Yeah, there have been some Mickey Mouse video games, but I want to make him a video game hero on par with the very best, with the Marios, the Sonics, the people think of when they think video games. And uh, I'm hoping Disney Epic Mickey gets him there. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit is one of the saddest and yet funniest characters in cartoon history. He was the prototype for every cartoon rabbit that came after him, and yet completely forgotten. I knew I wanted Horace and Clarabelle, the black and white versions, uh, because they've been replaced by the color versions, and they were, they're kind of the reject pals. Clarabelle, sort of a busybody, she loves her garden, but, but a real sweetheart and a real good friend to Minnie and Mickey uh, in the early days. Horace is a terrific character, actually. He was probably the most versatile actor in, uh, in Mickey's gang. Uh, he could be a detective, he could be a cowboy, he could be anything. It's interesting that, that he kind of ended up getting forgotten because that kind of versatility and, and flexibility seems like it would be a, a useful thing in a cartoon series, but for some reason, he got left by the wayside. I think one of the, the characters we've, we've had the most fun with was the character of, of Pete. And uh, in fact, in the game, Pete has many incarnations. I call it the League of Pete. So around every corner, there's another Pete in a different costume. You know, oh my gosh, this time I'm dressed up as a little Dutch girl, like a small world doll, oh my gosh. So he's always sort of humiliated by all the costumes that he has to wear. You know, Mickey, basically, by the end of the game, I'm hoping Mickey and the player are going, another Pete? The gremlins in the game were, were just ideas. They were going to make an animation short off of them, and they never got to it. So we looked at those characters, and we did, we did what we do best, is what we brainstormed. We come up with ideas. In some cases, like the gremlins, they, they didn't have any personalities. They didn't have any motion or animation or life that we could imitate. Uh, we had to come up with our own personalities and our own animation styles for them. It brings a certain level of challenge because you've got such a high bar to live up to to make them a Disney character. But I think the, the animators and had done a great job in exploring all of the other Disney characters that they kind of got it in their heads as to how we can make these characters fit in a Disney world that have never been there before. The most satisfying thing about working with lost characters and forgotten characters is remembering them and knowing that, that you're at least a small part of bringing them back into the public consciousness. All these characters are worthy of the love and affection of audiences. There's a little fictional thing in the game about the importance of hearts. When a character is, is loved by audiences and successful in cartoon, their, their little cartoon heart beats in their chest, right? And when they're forgotten, that heart just sort of fizzles and disappears, and then they themselves disappear and, and appear in the wasteland. And so the one thing that no character in Wasteland has is a heart. I get this picture when I think about Gus and old black and white Horace and, and the mad doctor, and, and I just feel in this weird sort of way that uh, I'm giving them their hearts back. Their hearts are gonna appear in their chests again, and they're gonna pop back into the real world, and, and, and people out here are gonna love them again.